Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and today I want to talk about my 1818 novel project. If you've watched my channel at all over the past year you'll have heard me talk about this over and over again and today I want to wrap up this project and tell you why and how I failed and how I feel about that. So I set up this project in March of 2018 after reading an article that compared the representation of women both as authors and as book characters in 2018 to the novel over the past 200 years. So I decided I'm going to read a bunch of novels from 200 years ago and see if there's anything to that. So I picked six books, all books that were published in 1818 and decided to read them over the course of the year. Now I only managed to read four of those books. I read uh, Persuasion and Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, I read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and I read Marriage by Susan Ferrier. I didn't manage to read The Heart of Midlothian by Sir Walter Scott and Nightmare Abbey by Thomas Love Peacock. I started reading The Heart of Midlothian and I just could not get through it. I thought it was the most boring and confusingly written a novel that I'd ever had the misfortune of downloading onto my Kindle and that attempt of reading this Walter Scott novel kind of took me out of the project and I didn't touch any books from 1818 for weeks after that because I still had this feeling of having to finish this horrible book that I couldn't get on with at all. So that's why I also ran out of time before I could read uh, Nightmare Abbey by Thomas Love Peacock. I'm not happy about this failure but at the same time I realised that literally no one but me cares about this. And even though I only read four novels and not six from 1818, I still feel like I learned a lot from those four novels. Uh, the, the first thing is that 1818 feels a lot more recent now than 200 years ago. Like I feel like I'm a little bit more connected to the culture of 1818 than I was before reading those four novels. I feel like I have a closer connection to the people of the Regency, as silly as it sounds, but especially the women. Yes, the four novels that I read mainly focused on women, with the exception of Frankenstein, which is very heavily focused on the male characters of Dr. Frankenstein and the creation. Which isn't to say that that book didn't have some interesting progressive thought about women, because it did. Watch my review video if you're interested in those. But mostly the characters of these books have been female. And the authors of these books all have been female because funnily enough the two books I failed to read were the two written by men. Sorry men. And the biggest surprise was definitely Northanger Abbey because apart from uh, it being a really fun and more entertaining book than I had expected, it also has some really interesting things to say about literature at the time. So it's almost like a comment on literature which is very meta considering I read these books based on a comment on literature of the time. What I found out from Northanger Abbey about books of the early 19th and late 18th century is that novels were considered quite frivolous, novels were considered quite feminine, novels were considered like the soap operas of the day, you know, like you wouldn't waste your time with it if you had any brains, you wouldn't waste your time with a novel if you were a man who had more important things to do and all of those things are kind of uh, wrapped up in a really interesting little narrative in Northanger Abbey. And I feel like it's Jane Austen's defense of this genre and maybe that's why I loved that book so much. And I would pick out Northanger Abbey as my sort of star read from this project because it surprised me so much and I learned so much not just about the time that it was written in but also about what people thought of the novel in the time that it was written in. Other things that I took away from this is that the four books that I did read all flowed very easily. If you are afraid of classics, if you're not sure whether you're going to enjoy this or not, then definitely give one of these books a go. I would recommend for a first time classics reader or someone who's not very confident in classics to try out either Northanger Abbey or um, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley because those two books are both quite short 
and they are both very very readable very accessible with Frankenstein you kind of have to just force your way through the first two chapters until it shifts from the weird letter style into uh, the first person narration whereas Northanger Abbey just kind of sucks you in straight away both wonderful books if you're afraid of classics, especially really old classics. I mean, 200 years ago, that's a long time. So if you're worried about uh, finding these books too difficult, definitely check out these two. What did I learn from my own failure? Well, first of all, that I need to just get a grip and get over myself and just admit that uh, I'm not perfect. I know it's hard to believe, isn't it? The other thing is that I really shouldn't let this stop me from pursuing projects that are fun just out of the fear of failing at them because even while the 1818 project was still going on I had a really really good idea for something to do in 2019 and then when it got to the end of, of 2018 and I didn't manage to, to read the six books that I wanted to I decided that no I wasn't going to do something like this again but why? Why should the fear of not completing something I've set myself stop me from beginning a project like that? Because I read four more books from 1818 that I would have read if I hadn't done that project. And that is something that I should celebrate and I should be proud of. So what's the conclusion of this video? Is that yes, there will be a new project in 2019. No, it's not going to be the 1819 project. No, it's not going to be the 1919 project, but I think it will be just as fun. That announcement video is coming in the next few days, so keep an eye out for those if you're interested. But again, I know that I am virtually the only person who cares about this. I'm the only person who holds myself accountable and who beats myself up for not reading six books when I said I'd read six books. It's silly, and I realize that now. Ramble over. Thank you for watching. Bye.